All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about cross sections and solid figures. Uh, some of the vocabulary that we're going to be using are cross sections and revolution. So cross sections are a 2D shape that is exposed by making a straight cut through something. And on here we can see uh, an example of that. We see a cone uh, and a cross section made through this cone, which creates a circle. Or you can also argue that it creates um, an oval. Uh, and this type of cross section, to be more specific, it's a cross section parallel to the base of my cone. So notice that my base, it's down here. And the cross section, it's been made parallel to my cone. We also have cross sections made perpendicular to the base. So they will be, of course, from the bottom of the cone upwards. Alright, the other uh, vocabulary word we're going to be using uh, is revolution, which is just a full rotation or complete turn. It's used to create 3D solids using 2D figures. Now here we have drawn a sample of the following 3D solids. Cross sections can be made either parallel to the base or perpendicular to the base, as I already explained. So here I want you to draw the cross section parallel and perpendicular to the base of each of these following drawings so you're going to be creating a drawing of a prism a drawing of a pyramid a drawing of a cylinder and bottom here a drawing of a cone i will i'm also going to be wanting to for you to create the cross section parallel to the base of the prism and the cross section perpendicular to the base of my prism and same goes for all of them, for perimeter, cylinder, and cone. And that is pretty much cross sections. You're going to find some similarities. Uh, let me actually point out a few of them by drawing maybe the cone and the cylinder. So on my notebook, let's see my cone. Let me draw a cone sorry for not so perfect of a cone and then also have my cylinder All right now if I make a cross section horizontal through this uh, horizontally here for my cone and my cylinder I know that I'm going to get two really similar shapes as a cross section for my for my um, cone I'm going to get a circle and for my cylinder I'm also going to get a circle we get the same shapes making a, a cross section parallel to the base of these two uh, shapes. Now what if I make a cross section perpendicular now to my base? So perpendicular would be straight down. That would be perpendicular cross section to my base of my cylinder and straight down. That would be a perpendicular cross section to my base of to the base of my cone. So the base of my so this um this perpendicular cross action here will give me this shape. It'll give me a rectangle. You can analyze why. You'll kind of see why uh, on the second part of this lesson. How this, this gives me uh, a rectangle. I'll come back to it in a bit. Now here, this one, it will actually give me something like this it has a base it'll give me something like that well a little bit more steep actually through the edges but it will give me something looking like a parabola like an upside down parabola so this is my perpendicular cross section perpendicular cross section and these two are my now parallel cross sections. Now the similarities that I was able to find here 
are that the cone and the cylinder when made a, a parallel cross section through my base both of them generate a circle that's that's something that I can really um that I can really use for example if maybe they ask they give me a cross section that is a circle and they ask me maybe what are the two possible um solids that could gen that could create this uh circle cross section I would actually have two options they could it could either be a cone or it could either be it could also be um a cylinder all right so this is pretty much it for cross sections just being able to identify and distinguish and maybe learn where they come from so if you get a, cir a circle as a cross section like what solid figure do you think it creates this uh circular cross section and of course you'll be able to see say either a cylinder or a cone all right now so what similarities did you find so you can list maybe the 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 three-dimensional solids that create similar cross sections and and give me those similarities now we have which of the following 2d shapes could be a cross section of this 3d shape so when looking at so when given cross sections these are my four cross sections and this is my solid figure so when given cross sections and a solid figure you want to really look for two pretty right now you you we really just are looking for two cross sections one we're looking for the parallel we're looking for one parallel to the base and we're looking for the other cross section perpendicular to the base so here this is for you to do um so remember well we kind of already did it but yeah cross sections just circle the ones that you think are the right ones now two-dimensional revolution so dimension revolutions of two-dimensional shapes i should actually rename this a uh, revolutions of two-dimensional shapes so we have given any two-dimensional shape by revolving it around a given axis it will create a three-dimensional solid so you can put either 2d and 3d or two-dimensional and three-dimensional so examples you can see here on the first example we have a rectangle being um, revolved around this axis this vertical axis you can see how it kind of it's it's like slowly generating this cylinder so getting a, a rectangle and revolving it around the Nazis will create a cylinder and this is what I wanted to come back from my drawing notice the one of my the cross section of my cylinder was actually a rectangle so if I take that cross section and I revolve it around my an Nazis it will generate um a cylinder all right now we have another example here we have we are now revolving a triangle again around this vertical axis and by revolving it it creates a cone so we can generate a lot of solid figures using revolutions um not all solid figures of course are generated this way but we can generate several i have a few of them for you to work on down here my favorite one is is this one you will create something something pretty interesting um i'll let you try that though these uh here's the one with the triangle this is pretty much the same thing than this one but it's it's just a different perspective of the revolutions revolutions don't always have to be uh vertical they don't always have to revolve around the x axis and they don't always have to revolve around the y axis all right so these are revolutions and before this we had um cross sections and this is pretty much it for this lesson um so we have two dimensional revolutions and to generate three dimensional solids.
we have cross sections uh, if you want to investigate this a little bit further there's a really uh, interesting um, one of my favorite uh, topics it's actually called conic sections so let me pause it here now these are conic sections we have a cone and basically the cone is being um we have several cross sections through this cone uh, at the very top we see uh, a parallel cross section through um a, par a parallel cross section which creates a circle then we see another cross section again cross sections don't always have to be uh perpendicular or parallel to the base for our specific um standard that we have to cover it they uh, we're just covering uh perpendicular and parallel cross sections to the base of our cone but here we can see other type of cross sections you don't have to know this um but it's something really interesting uh, so we have all of these shapes created just using cross sections through a cone so we have the circle we have the ellipse we have the parabola and the hyperbola so if you were to take these cross sections and just put them into a to like into a paper draw them you would actually get these shapes you would get a circle you would get an ellipse you can get a parabola and a hyperbola and that's pretty much it for this lesson um if you have any questions make sure to leave it on the comments or ask me during class um all right thank you guys bye